Okay, we're going to make a uh, Launcher Pro style icon for Double Twist. So I'm going to start with my pen tool, and I'm going to click in each corners of this uh, face. We're going to do one face at a time, and we're going to try to leave about uh, three to five pixels between each face. Um, now, using the pen tool, uh, we're making vectors here, so it's going to be a lot cleaner than if we just try to do like um, uh, the selection tool and make rasters. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click in each corner of uh, this particular face of the uh, of the shape, and then I'm going to right click it and oh, you know, what? actually, first I need to create a new layer. Um, so oh, uh, oh, not a new not a new window. Hold it, just a new layer. And Control Shift N for a new layer. Now I'm going to fill the path uh, with the foreground color. Okay, that path is there. That uh, face is done. Control Shift in for a new layer. I'm going to start on another face here. So I'm going to click in the corner and I'm going to draw this line just a few pixels away from the other face, so that there's um, a distinct line between the two faces when we're all done. And I'm going to do all four corners here. Okay, and right click and fill path. Okay, now control shift in for a new layer and start on another face. Let's do the small one on the back here. Okay, on the corners. Right there and there. Okay. Get the bottom two. Connect it back up and right click. Fill path. Alright, now let's go on to the next face. Uh, control shift in, new layer. Uh, and also hit escape after you uh, fill each path uh, so that you're only selecting one path at a time. So, draw the new face. Draw the new face, okay. Fill path. Alright, now hit escape and control shift in for a new layer. Uh, we've got two path or two faces left to go. Do the small one here. Okay. Yeah, right there. On the outside, the top corner, and connect it back up. Okay. Now right click, fill path, hit escape, control shift in. Okay. And fill in this tiny little last one here. fill the path and we're done. Okay, now we're going to fly out the layers menu and I'm going to control click on all of the elements that I just drew. Uh, I'm sorry, control shift click rather, uh, which will select them all and create a new layer. Oh, hold on. Oops. Okay, I forgot to hit escape on the last path. So I'm going to hit control D and, es and escape. Okay, so control shift click on e each of my layers. Um, and then create a new fill layer, solid color that's white. And now I'm going to go and do the drop shadow. Um, it is the settings are 40% uh, opacity, um, and the um, distance is zero. Nine is the spread, and 48 is the size. And oh, wait a minute, what what is happening? Oh, I see what I've done. I'm gonna I'm gonna start over. Okay, so uh, double click the layer, drop shadow, um, uh, forty percent opacity, um, zero distance, nine spread, forty eight size, and then I'm gonna do a um, yeah an inner shadow that is white and uh, blend mode normal. And um, at an angle of 90 degrees, and I'll set it to 2, 0, 1. And that is that. I'm done there. And I'm going to set the fill for the layer to 60%. And then I'm going to create uh, just a little solid color background layer that uh, will just let us see what our, what our icon is going to look like on a dark gray background. So um, we'll zoom out. We're done. This is what it looked like. Will look like on the phone. Um, should look great. That's it.